maybe I will use an example which I quite like, although I'm not sure if I got things correctly. Nam namely, uh, uh, the last chapter of the book, yes, it is the last, yeah. 14th, on quantum physics. Yeah. I claim that uh, this is also what makes quantum physics so breathtaking. It's ontological consequences which, as we all know, even today are not clear. And I think the key is how do you read this uh, complementarity uh, and so, uh, or, or uncertainty principle. Here, I think we should follow Niels Bohr against Heisenberg. You know, when Heisenberg reads it as simple, uh, uh, basically as a simple epistemological limitation, we cannot measure the two complementary features, let's say uh, position and movement, whatever, sorry, uh, no, sorry, velocity and uh, position, whatever, we cannot measure them at the same time. If we measure one, we don't get the other. But uh, uh, Niels Bohr is saying something much more radical. Not only that we cannot measure them, but that in itself, as it were, reality is incomplete. Mm. You know, if I may very briefly, repeat a story which is, I think, perfect. I use it here, I took it from some introduction to philosophy written by someone who probably really hates Hegel, Nicholas Fern. Uh, uh, imagine, uh, imagine how is a computer game universe structured? It's not completely programmed. For example, you play a game, which I have to endlessly watch my small son playing Call of Duty and so on. Uh, and for example, you have in the background a house, but the interior of that house often is not programmed. Why not? Because simply it's not part of the game that you can enter it. Or you have a, a, a mountain in the back. You know, you cannot say, okay, you can say within the fiction, but yeah. in the reality of the game even, you can't say, oh, if we were to go close to that mountain, we will see in detail. No, that mountain only exists in this blurred, not fully realized way. So uh, the idea that I like of Nicholas Fern is to make the comparison between this paradox of incompletely programmed reality and quantum physics, claiming that in the same way as we are not supposed, for example, to approach a mountain in the background of the game, if, of course, it's not part of the game, in the same way, and I like this idea, in the same way, we have quantum indeterminacy or, or incompleteness because, to put it bluntly, God underestimated us. Mm -hmm. God created the world and he thought, wait a minute, humans are too stupid to move beyond the atom, so I will stop programming it there. We were unfortunately a little bit too bright, you know, and moved beyond atom and ah, ah, you didn't program it completely there, you know, like that it's the same incomplete, but now comes the crucial point. Of course, I'm an atheist. So is it possible to think this incompleteness without God? Mm. You know, to think reality as incomplete without some divine mind, its perspective, and so on and so on.